Hello, Grizzlies, and welcome to our final episode of Grizzly TV. I'm London. I'm Trey. I'm Lotus. Now to News Team 2 with 8th grade memories. What are your favorite memories of middle school? Uh, my favorite memories of middle school, um, I really liked the sports. I played basketball and I did cross country and that was probably my favorite memories. I just had a lot of fun being with my friends, doing sports that I like. I liked going to Worlds of Fun for Honors Choir because it was the first time I rode a roller coaster. My favorite memory of middle school was when the band got to play at the Mavericks game because I got to play for people whose parents didn't go for the school and for people I've never met before and that really scares me. My favorite memory of middle school is having class with Miss Benson. That's my favorite memory because I love Benson. She's, she's a great person all in general, so shout out to Benson. When the band got to perform with the high schoolers at the football game on Friday night. Because I really felt like I belonged, like I got to meet my band family and I, it was just really fun. Uh, the last day of school because you get to just sign your books all day and hang out with your friends. Next year's play is Transylvania. Let's go to News Team 4 to check out more information. Hi, I'm from News Team 4 here with Ms. Oakenquist to learn more about next year's play. So Ms. Oakenquist, what is the play about? Well, our play next year is actually called Transylvania. Um, it is a play, not a musical. Um, and so it's a great opportunity for 6th, 7th, and 8th graders to get involved in our drama department here at PKMS. The play itself is, um, it's kind of, the, the movie Transylvania that kind of came out a couple years ago, it's kind of along this line of like, there's this world of, of villains and the bad guys of all the famous movies like Frankenstein and all this stuff, but it's their kids. And they live, or they go to this high school um, where again, all those kids go to. And then um, some humans who they're afraid of, kind of like in that movie, um, actually find their way into their school. And so it all kind of begins as like this thing where they keep missing each other and they don't see each other, but then they eventually like meet and they're both afraid of each other and they don't know what to do. But in the end, they all um, kind of realize they have a lot more in common and things like that. So it's fun. All right. So how do you audition for this play? Okay, um, yeah, like I said, 6th, 7th, and 8th graders next year can audition. We will have auditions at the very beginning of the school year. Probably not the first week in August, um, or not the first week of August, the first school week, um, but the second one. So what's going to need to happen is when you guys come back to school next August, pay attention to the announcements right away. Look for posters. We'll be up all over the place to find out when you can audition. Um, and uh, you won't have to sing for the audition this year, so you'll just come prepared and um, practice putting together um, your scene, and we'll check it out and see if you're going to make the cut. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you in the newsroom. This is Ms. Whitmire's last year teaching. Let's go to News Team 3 to learn more about it. Hey guys, I'm here with Mrs. Whitmire to talk to her about her upcoming retirement. So what's your favorite thing about teaching? Um, my favorite thing is just teaching. It's fun to watch the kids become more proficient readers and writers. Being a sixth grade teacher, I really enjoy watching them move from sixth grade to seventh grade and eighth grade and just how they grow up in general. That's sweet. And how long have you taught? I'm wrapping up my 29th year. That's a long time. I'm really old. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> and what are your plans after you retire? I just became a grandmother. Well, not just, she'll be a year old, Sadie, in June, so I'm going to spend more time with Sadie. And, oh man, <laughs> okay, do you have a favorite memory from teaching? No, I don't. Um, every, I can honestly say every day there's something fun that happens that I will remember that makes me smile, or it's just really crazy, not always crazy in a good way, <laughs> and... Anyone who goes into teaching, I tell them that they should start writing a book because I should have done that my first year because no one would believe just all the things that happen between teaching and learning. So, yeah, not a favorite memory either. It's all good. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. As most of you may know, this is Ms. Cavaluzzi's last year teaching. Let's go to News Team 6 for more information. Hello, today we're here with Ms. Cavaluzzi to talk about her retirement. Tell us how many different schools you have been teaching at and what different subjects you have taught. How long is this interview? <laughs> okay. 
I began teaching in Georgia, Athens, Georgia specifically. Then I moved to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yes, it's in the United States. And three, we, was, we moved here to Blue Springs, so I started at the Blue Springs School District and have been teaching here ever since. I began at Georgia Baker, then at Brittany Hill, don't hold that against me, and now at the Sunnyvale, the PK now, the PK. How many years have you been teaching? Forever. Well, at least 20, well, over 25 years. Do you have any favorite memories of teaching? Oh, yes. My fifth hour science class. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna go? What are you gonna miss the most about PKMS and teaching? Overall? The kids, definitely the children. I really enjoy each and every one of the children that have been in my room and have are still in my room. So yes, I will miss the kids. What are your plans for retirement? Let's see. It's gonna include a little beach sand, uh, playing in the water spending a lot of time with my family and friends. Congratulations and enjoy your retirement.
you enjoyed it. We enjoyed it as well. It's been an amazing three years here as Grizzlies. Stay tuned till next year. Have, Have a, a great, great summer. summer. Bye.